Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here with John Craig Savage. He's head of operations here at the Motherwell facility. John Craig, wow. <laughs> yeah, you, we've done a lot of work today talking to all of your people and going around and seeing the facility here. First time I've ever been here because we've got something special to talk about, the Rockback new brand. But also we've got a real positive thing going on in the industry at the moment. We've talked to lots of people in the past on my podcast and everything like that who say that we're in the motorway building boom era style of work at the moment, particularly for ADTs, that are HS2, highways project, warehouses coming all over the country. This is the right time to have a new product with a stage five engine, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. Um, it's, it's exactly the right time. And I'm sure you've, you know, you've seen the, the level of buzz in the factory at this yeah. moment in time, the level of enthusiasm. You know, we're building this product here in the UK, we're supplying to the UK market. We've got our new brand, it's fantastic as you say, absolutely. And what I wanted to talk to you about though in particular is jobs and, okay. and investment here in the factory. You know, so one of these is coming off the line every single day at the moment. You know, what has it meant for jobs when the, the investment has gone into this new brand? Yeah, so we are heavily recruiting in the local area. Um, we have positions available all throughout the business. You know, the, the order intake we've got at this moment in time, there is a real jobs boost yep. uh, for this area. So lots of opportunities, lots of development, lots of upskilling of people. Um, it, it's all good news at this moment in time. And what's interesting for me, I didn't realise this, is that everything is done here, isn't it? All of the research and the development teams, all of the future of this Rockback brand, all of the people are here. That makes this an engine to build this with its big <laughs> engine, doesn't it? You know, and it brings all of that together so you can move quickly to release a new brand like this, but also to make changes and upgrades like the Stage 5 engine. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a bit of a niche when it comes to that. You know, we don't have a, a design house on the other side of the world that we're using. The guys who come here every single day and, and work within the factory are the ones that are making the design improvements that our customers are seeing. That allows us to make those changes a lot quicker, a lot slicker, uh, introduce them to our products and get them out to our customers. So, absolutely. And what's really important for me, when you talk about new jobs, these are not just a, B, C jobs. These are highly skilled jobs and you've actually put a lot of effort into a training and into the funding for bringing new people in. That's really important, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So as you say, it's skilled jobs, skilled welders, skilled time served assemblers and so on and so forth. But we don't just train them up to do the job role. We're on a, a continuous improvement journey. We have a lean journey. So we teach them other skills like practical problem solving. We put them through Kaizen events. We teach them how to investigate problems, solve problems themselves, and that can transfer to, to any industry. Um, so they don't just learn about the skill that they're required for. We're creating really rounded team members within our facility that contribute to our new brand. And this is all about contributing to the UK economy, folks. Lots more jobs here, but also the skills that you're delivering when these people, you know, potentially want to leave you in the future and go <laughs> elsewhere. They're taking those skill sets out to the rest of the UK economy as well, aren't they? And the big thing for me, though, is how this is all gelled together with the investment in the brand, in the people, but also the sort of sustainability nature of the setup here, you know, that you've got. Tell me about that. Yeah, so as you say, look, we don't want our team members to leave. No, we, we want them to enjoy working <laughs> here. We want them to stay, but we bring through apprentices. We, we train them up. We get them involved in the business. Um, we have a sustainability plan that we are working on as well. We're involved in science-based targets. We're looking at our, our CO2 impact. And, and, and everything's there. Everything's on the table. We've got the tools to go and challenge those things, and we're up for that challenge. So, absolutely. And for me, you know, this is a really important part of the process. You're using materials like Hardox, which are really going to give a sustainable life cycle to the machines in here. But when you're talking about how you can minimise the carbon impact, you can do that when you're on a site like this and everything's intertwined as well, can't you? And that really does make a difference between the, the industry and the wider community in which you work. Yeah, so uh, yeah, basically what, what you're saying and what I agree with is we are in control of our own destiny and that's the, the, a really important aspect of what we're doing here. It's up to us to set our, our targets and objectives and, and go make them happen and that's what we're doing here. 
Right, well, you've had enough of your time out from sitting behind the desk. He's enjoying the sunshine today, folks. Absolutely. But, uh, John Craig, you've got a really big job here to expand the workforce, to, to make new products, and to actually service this huge demand that's yep. coming out from uh, your dealers, not just in the UK, but globally as well, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. We've got everything we need here. Um, lots of investments in the people, as we've, as we've discussed. Lots of investments in the site um, and lots of investments in how we build these units as well. For example, this new rockback unit, the body of that unit is produced on our new robotic welder, uh, improving the quality and the consistency and also our output so we can meet that, that boom that you're talking about. So it's all looking positive at this moment in time. And I certainly enjoyed it today, John, <laughs> because basically I've been around this factory first time ever. Love seeing behind the scenes of what's going on in a UK manufacturer that's been here for a long time. And it's a wonderful moment, folks, to see more jobs coming into this area and to see a brand like Rockback launched with a positivity, strength of stage five engines, carbon emissions as a key focus, and ultimately safety, folks. All delivered partly by people and partly by robots. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Cheers.